Hello guys. In this video, we are going to learn about the built-in search data structure in JavaScript. In the previous lesson, we have learned about the map data structure, which is a key value data structure. But unlike map, set does not have keys. We only put in the values. To create a set is simple. We just say new set. One thing to note about set is that set only contains unique values. So if you put the same value multiple times, it will only insert one of it, the first one. The other ones will be ignored. Right now, our set is empty. So if I do console.log of the set, you can see that we get an empty set. Let's insert some items into the set. For that, I have these random values that I want to put in the set. To add a value in the set, we just say set.add and then the value we want to add to the set. Set.add returns the set. So we can change the call like this. Set.add the value then dot add another value. You will notice that I added the same value Legos twice. If I go ahead and print the set, I will save that and print. Although Lagos was added twice, but we only have one value because we said that set contains only unique values. Aside adding items to the set, there are other operations we can perform on a set. For example, we can check if the set contains a given value using set.has. So when we call this, it returns a boolean that is true or false, depending on whether or not the set has the given value. I will save this and run the code. So we can see that for the first case for Lagos, it is true because we have Lagos in the set. For the second case, which is Montreal, we don't have Montreal in the set. So that returns false. Another thing we can do with set is to delete an item, to remove item from the set. We simply say set.delete, then the value we want to delete. So I'm going to save this and run the code. We can see that at this line, the delete was successful. When that is successful, it returns true. Otherwise, it returns false if the value is in there. So um, and next, we check if Lego still exists in the set. This time, we get false because we have deleted the value from the set. To remove all the items in the set, we say set.clear. So calling set.clear will remove all the values that we have imputed in the set. If I run the code again, we can see that at this point, the set is empty. Let me comment that out so we can work further with the set. To check how many items we have in the set, we simply say set.size. If I save and run this, so we have two items in the set and we get the output two. Now let's look at the different ways we can iterate over a set. There are different ways we can iterate over a set. For example, we can use set.keys. This will just give us the values in the set, right? Remember we said that set do not have the key value structure, but we can still use set.keys. It will just give us the values. Similar result is what you are going to get if we do set.values. That will also give us the values. Then set.entries will just give us the values twice. We are going to demonstrate this in a moment. Of course, we can also use the for of and for each. Let's print out all the values in the set using set.keys. I will save and run the code. You can see that we basically get the values from the set. There are no keys. If I change this to set.values and save and run the code again, we get the same output. So both set.keys and set.values will give us the same result. Then set.entries does not really give us key value because once again, there is no keys in the set. It gives us the value twice. If I save and run this, you can see what we have is the value twice. So for the first case, we have um, Berlin for value, the same value is also Berlin. 
In the second one, Mumbai, the same value is Mumbai. Finally, we can use the for of and for each to iterate over the set like this. I will save and run the code. So for the first case, this is for of, we basically get the values. When we do for each, we get the value. The first argument here is the value. The second argument again is the value because this is not a key value data structure. In both cases, we get the value. And then the third argument gives us the same set. So this is for the for each. All right, guys, please hit the like button and subscribe if you have not done so. This brings us to the end of the lesson. Thank you. Until next time, happy coding.